In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a worm tower. And we're going to start right now. So me and Mrs. Naked Gardener, we eat a lot of plant-based meals. And sometimes we eat, have so much food waste, we don't know what to do. We don't throw them out. Uh, we either uh, freeze them or put them in our compost bin. Lately, we've been freezing because our compost is at a point where we can't uh, add any more to it. So we decided to do a worm tower. That way we can constantly feeding uh, our soil with the worms. I'm gonna show you a simple way to do a worm tower using PVC pipe. These is what I've collected uh, from a job site. Uh, however, you can go to your local big box store and get anywhere from a four or six uh, PVC pipe and they come up to about 10 feet. You can have uh, the, most of the big box stores that will cut it for you. Uh, just depending on what size that you have for your raised bed. We'll cover that uh, later on after we install it. Now, we're gonna show you how we're going to uh, construct this. So now we're gonna show you how to construct it. Uh, you can use a battery operated drill or electric drill. Uh, you can use a, a regular drill bit. Or you can use a paddle bit or you can use a mortise uh, I, you could go anywhere from a half inch to up to about five eighths this is a five eighths uh, mortise bit and what I'm going to do is I marked it out every about two inches and then we're going to do four sides every two inches then we're going to do in between those every in between that area I'll show you how we do it So how we want to feed and start this off is you want to add some bedding. So you will add some newspaper, cardboard, shredded, all those need to be shredded, and some dirt. Then you want to add your food waste in there. And for your food waste, you just basically have your banana peels, your leftover uh, vegetables that you're using here. You don't want to use any type of dairy products or meat products, uh, just all organic food based products then you want to add, add the grit for the worms to help them digest all of that by adding either coffee grounds uh, used coffee grounds uh, crushed eggshells and uh, uh, or some sand and then once you do all of that just water it saturate it and let it just uh, soak out of the worm tower that way you will feed the soil and that way your plants can then feed off of that and help them thrive as well. Uh, the worms are gonna uh, do their verma casting in there where they'll go in and out of these holes and they'll lay their, their poop and their eggs all throughout your bed. Once they do their eggs, it will help them multiply and then from there, you just help thrive your garden bed. Instead of buying um, the, your worm casting from the big box store or anything of that nature you have your own worm casting already into your bed and as you just water it it just helps thrive it from there all right so we're outside towards our new raised beds that uh, me and the mrs naked gardener did uh, this weekend and tomorrow we're going to have some dirt coming in so we can fill up all these beds uh but what we did is we dug, dug out the area where we're gonna put the, the worm tower. We're gonna put three in this bed. And we're gonna put another one in this corner and a, another one right there uh, in that other end of the uh, raised bed. And what we did is we dug out a little bit and we have a lot of clay soil down below. And so we'll, hopefully what this will do is allow the verma casting uh, to help uh, the soil so that way we don't have 
so much uh, soil, uh, clay soil right here. And we're gonna just bury or cover up and get all of this in. Uh, we're gonna use my wife's favorite tool. I call it the Cultivator 2.0, but she calls it the Claw 2.0. Put all of that soil around here that we had dug out. Tap it down. Make sure it's pretty good. And just go from there. Like I said, we just fill it up a certain way, uh, the, the method I just told you about. And then uh, we'll put the soil level, the soil level will have roughly about right here and put a cap on top of there so every time we're done with our, our food waste product we'll just be able to remove the lid put our food waste in there and cut and water it down and cover it back up so that way no rodents or flies or anything of that nature will uh, go up inside of there and uh, feed off of there and rob the food from the earthworms All right, here we have all of our worm towers installed. And what this was gonna allow us to do is get rid of some of our food waste so that way, and I need my hat. Okay, what we have is our, all of our worm towers installed into this last test bed. And what the purpose of this is to help eliminate some of our food waste so that way we won't have to put so much in our compost and we'll feed the uh, raised bed naturally. So we're gonna do, once we get this all filled, the process is to put some type of bedding in there, like some newspaper, shredded newspaper, shredded cardboard, uh, coffee filters, or anything of that. And then you put your food waste in, on top of there. And then on, from there, you add your coffee grinds, your eggshells, um, and there was some, or some sand for some type of grit to help the digestive system of the worms. So that way when the worms go in and out of these holes right here, once they come out into here, they're gonna poop and lay their eggs in here, and then they'll go back and feed. So once they lay the eggs in there, the eggs will hatch and there will be a constant feeding from there. So you add all of that, uh, and then you just water it down, and then the ex excess of the water will flush throughout the system, which will add nutrients through to the roots to feed off of and help the plants thrive. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to fill this last bed, and then uh, later on we'll show the whole recap of what's going on in this bed. All right, so what we decided to do is show you the process of uh, filling up these worm towers. So what you wanna do, we have some shredded paper. We're gonna take some of the shredded paper, put it down in there. That's gonna be the bedding. And then we got some frozen food waste that we, I guess there was some jalapeno in there, some spicy smell in there. Uh, let's, uh, that should be good for right now. And then we got some uh, crushed up eggshells. And put some of that in it. And what that is, is a uh, grinding solution. It helps the digestive system of the uh, worm cast of the worms. We'll add some, some more dirt, some more bedding in there. And then we'll add some water. Now, some of y'all probably already seen us uh, do this on Instagram. I put the links down below so that way you can follow us on other social media uh, devices. And you just let this get all filled up. And what those holes would do is just help water out the uh, plants and the soil 
then you cap this off so that way there won't be any fungus gnats or um, any creatures be getting up in there to uh, get it all funky and, and smelly and everything and then you just fill that out uh, you kind of adjust by how your worms go if they're able to get all of this in one week then you just fill up like I said we have three so it should do very well if not we're gonna be doing a worm bin um, later on showing you how we're gonna be doing that so if you haven't done so already make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon so you don't miss that upload and as always let's grow together